All right, Dave Stoblin here today. In this video, we are going to talk about geometric sequences. A geometric sequence is when you multiply by a number to get the next term. The common ratio which we will represent by the letter R is the actual number you multiply by. And the number that you multiply by can be a whole number or a fraction. And if you think about a fraction, this is kind of how you get to divide. So say, for example, you wanted to divide by 2. What you would really do is multiply by a half. Okay, so let's look at an example. 5, 10, 20, 40. I see we have a starting value of 5, and it looks like we are multiplying by 2 each time. So our next term, 40 times 2, will be 80, and then times 2 would be 160. So let's do the following. Let's write a recursive formula for this geometric sequence, and then when we're done, we'll write a general formula for all geometric sequences. Okay? So in this case, we're starting out with 5, and then what we do is we take that previous term and multiply by 2 to get the next term, and then we take that previous term and multiply by 2 to get the term, and then previous times 2 to get the next one, and so on and so forth. So our recursive formula is going to be the first term equals 5, and then the next term is going to equal the previous term times 2. And so that is the recursive formula for this example. Now, if we want to generalize this for any geometric sequence, let's write this any geometric sequence, the recursive formula will look like this. We'll have the a1 value equals the starting value. So we'll just write that starting value. And I'm going to put a little box around it because that is something that we'll plug in. And then any term is going to be the previous term times the common ratio. And so I'm going to put a box around that. Now I probably should have noted earlier that when we were multiplying by 2 each time, that was our common ratio. That's the number we multiplied by. All right, let's do the same thing for our explicit formula. Well, we know that the first term is 5. And then the second term, what we're really doing is we're doing 5 times 2 equals 10. Well, what are we doing here? We're doing 5 times 1 equals 5. And then here we're doing 5 times 2 times 2 equals 20. And 5 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 40. Well, here's what I think is really going on. This is not really a 1. This would be the same as 5 times 2 to the 0 power, which is 1. 
And in this case, we're multiplying by 1, 2. In this case, we're multiplying by 2, 2's. In this case, we're multiplying by 3, 2's, and so forth. And you can see that the number of twos that we multiply by is always one less than the n value. So if we were going to write an explicit formula for this, I would think that we could start with any term is going to be the starting term times our multiplier, or common ratio, to an exponent and the number of twos is one less than the terms. And so this will be the explicit formula for this geometric example. Now, if we want to generalize this for any geometric sequence, and this will be explicit, I think what we're going to have is the following. a n equals our starting value, which was the 5 in this case, times our common ratio, which is our multiplier, to the n minus 1. And the two things that we're going to plug into this are the starting value and the common ratio. Okay, let's do an example and write a uh, recursive and an explicit formula for um, this example sequence. All right, let's try something like, um, let's say, 200, 100, 50, 25, 12.5, and so forth. Well, what I notice about this is that our starting value is 200. And it looks like we're dividing by 2. But we don't really use a dividing number. We have to use a multiplier. So if we're going to divide by 2, we really need to multiply by a half. So that's going to be our common ratio. So if we want to write a recursive formula for this geometric sequence, we would do the following. A1 equals the starting value, which is 200, and then any term is equal to the previous term times the common ratio. So that would be the recursive equation. To do the explicit, we would follow our general rule, and we would say any term is equal to the starting value, which is 200, times the common ratio, which is 1 half, to the power n minus 1. Yep. Now this is interesting, because this looks like our exponential growth equation. Do you remember that from earlier this year? Where you have your starting value and your growth or decay factor and your number of time periods. So this is pretty interesting. Our explicit equation for a geometric series is the same as exponential growth and decay. Alright, that's something to think about. That's it for now.